RIMPAC exercise showed Philippines need submarines, training for BrahMos missiles completed, please like and share the video, and subscribe to the channel, the BRP Antonio Luna or FF-151 guided missile frigate of the Philippine Navy just got back home recently after its participation in the 2022 edition of the Rim of the Pacific or RIMPAC exercise. The captain of the ship Charles Villanueva said that one of the important lessons of the exercise was how difficult it was to detect submarines even under controlled conditions and that the Philippines really need them for deterrence. This is what he said, despite having four capable ships in a controlled environment of 40 by 40 nautical mile exercise box, it was a difficult task. Hence, the need to highlight having our own submarines. If we are really aiming for minimum credible deterrence, Captain Villanueva did not mention the names of the other ships they were with during the anti-submarine warfare or ASW phase of the exercise, but my guess is that these were the HMCS Winnipeg or FFH-338 frigate of the Royal Canadian Navy, and the USS Chafee or DDG-90 destroyer and USS Mobile Bay or CG-53 cruiser of the United States Navy as there were pictures of these four ships together during the exercise. The BRP Luna only had its hull-mounted sonar or HMS in use during this exercise, but the other ships not only had their hull sonars but also their anti-submarine helicopters and towed sonar arrays. So despite all these ships and equipment and with the exercise area limited to only in a box of 74 by 74 kilometers, they still had problems finding the submarines. Captain Villanueva said that having submarines will be a game-changer for the Philippine Navy. Among the most visible offers for submarines to the Philippines so far are the DSME 1400PN class made by South Korea and the Scorpion class made by France. Meanwhile, the co-director of the BrahMos Aerospace Company Alexander Maksichev told the RIA Novosti Russian news organization recently that the training for the Philippine Marine Corps troops in India has already been completed. He made a mistake though in the interview when he said it was the Philippine Army troops, but it was actually the Philippine Marine troops that were sent to India back in June of this year of 2022. A total of 45 troops reportedly completed the training. He also mentioned though that there will only be six missile launchers for three batteries. So that means there will only be two missile launchers per battery. The chief operating officer of BrahMos Aerospace Atul Rain also said the same thing earlier this month of August 2022, but it seemed in conflict when he also said that the Philippines bought a lot of missiles. It is possible that there will be only two missile launchers per battery, but more missiles were bought for them as reloads. Note though that the missiles are not much use without their launchers, it will be more difficult to launch and get them to hit a target without those. Anyway, to summarize, the rim of the Pacific exercise showed the difficulty of detecting submarines even with a good number of assets, hence their effectiveness as a deterrent, and the Philippine Marine Corps has completed their training for the BrahMos missiles. Thank you for watching the video, I invite you again to like and share it, and subscribe to the channel.